Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I bet you guys are wondering why we're back here in the supply storage room. Well, I found out with a little bit of research and curiosity that we actually can get the chemical flamethrower. So I made it through the bottom waterway. I actually only got poisoned once. So that was really good for our inventory. I just used the one blue herb we picked up a little while ago. Uh, and now we're back here. And I should have the queen and king plugs. And that's all that we need to solve the puzzle down here. Besides taking this guy out. Because he's just going to wander around and make noise. So let's see if I can figure out this puzzle. I didn't look too much into it. I just got curious if there was anything that was going to help me against the next fight. And I found out that you can actually get um, the flamethrower. Which I'm not sure is actually going to help me against the next fight. But why not? Shit. Can I shoot you through the bars? I can. That makes me super happy. I bet I can't get a headshot on you from here. You might be dead. Okay. Let's use the queen plug. Actually, let's figure out what we need to do here. Okay. Uh, I think I need to use the queen plug here. That's the, my gun. Swear to God, if you eat my leg. And then, yeah, see, I'm stupid because this just takes the king plug, which we have access to. Uh, okay. So, first, I want to take this out. And I want to put it in this gate a little bit of thought would have got me through here the first time but I wasn't really thinking and paying attention to things so it's not the worst backtrack in the world to be honest I will sacrifice a blue herb to get back here without having to sacrifice a heal or anything and now this part. That's the wrong part. I should know my chest pieces. Use this part. How do they get by with only six of these things? And I mean like using these as key cards, not chest pieces. Obviously using six chest pieces has worked for like the history of chess. But now we have our chemical flamethrower. Hold R2 to fire the flamethrower. The longer you torch a target, the bigger the flames you'll create. Excellent. I'll put that right there. Anything else in here? I need to pick up those parts. What's this? Oh, I can unlock this now. Uh, you can unlock it, Leon. You unlock it. Good God, Leon. Use your head. Alright. Not that that's going to do me much good, because as soon as I take out this part, that gate's going to close. Okay. I can't get back in there, like, at all. Because I think that's the king panel. So, I sure hope there's nothing in there I wanted. Like that blue herb, damn it. Oh well. Alright. We've pretty much gotten everything we want. Can I get back up there? Or are you just teasing me? You're just... Ooh. Oh no, the blue herb's here! Excellent! 
Loot the room! We did it. Okay. So now we need to put the queen plug in here. That's the king plug. I'm still bad at this. Kind of wish they were labeled. I bet if I examine them, they are. Let's find out. That's my gun. Okay, yeah, if you examine it, it tells you which plug is which. Oh, that's good to know. That's way too late for me to solve the puzzle. But at least if you are confused, or as confused as I have been, now you know how to identify them. Just examine them and they will identify themselves. Kinda seems a little bit superfluous. I feel like they should come pre-labeled, but whatever. So now that we have this, the chemical flamethrower, remember how susceptible these big boys were to fire? Yeah, we're gonna have us a good old fashioned barbecue. Come on out, it's okay. Okay, you still grabbed me. Because I didn't have any room to maneuver. And now I'm poisoned again. Ready your weapon, Leon. Torch the bastard. Takes a lot of ammo, but it also takes them out. We can use the blue herb we... Um... Do I want to? Yeah, I probably should use the blue herb. Because I'm in danger. Um... Use this. Now I'm fine. Alright. There's another bastard over there. Let's see if we can run for it. Just because you can torch them doesn't mean you really want to if you don't have to. Also, it's not really showing me what I'm missing in this room. What's this? Nothing. Okay. Cool. I think there's another one right here. Yep, there you are. So yeah, it takes quite a bit of ammo to down one of these guys. But, um, it's worth it. Unfortunately, we still have another ways to go because I think it's actually time to head back to the police station. And I do know how to do that. We got a key in this area that will let us get back up there. So why don't we go and turn in some of these secrets that we've been finding down here. Sir, I've got a flamethrower. You might just want to let me buy. What the hell? Oh good, I made you a flaming zombie. Really wishing I had sub weapons right now. Okay, uh, which way do we want to go? Um, this is actually going to be kind of the trick. I think we need to go back down to the lower waterway and then back up. The stairs here. No, that's not what we want to do. Um, 
How do we want to get back there? Let me look here a minute. The lower waterway is definitely part of it. Okay. This is kind of where we want to go. Yeah. But isn't there a way through that elevator? Feel like that elevator there was how we bypassed something. Uh, obviously, it's not that way. Ah, here we go. All right, all right. This lift here, I think, will take us where we want to go. And you know what? We're going to grab the rook piece just in case. Now that we've used them to solve the puzzle, that door is going to stay open. But, you know, we're done with these pieces, so why not just pop them back into place? Use that. Everything goes back in its place. Use that. We're gonna take the rook. We're gonna lower that bridge again. This one? Yeah. Okay. Anything we want to grab before I go? God, my life, or some ammo. Okay. Just reviewing my route here. I'm going to go back to the lower waterway. And around to the work to the left. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Actually, let's pull this out. I feel like I really, really should just m give up and make some ammo. Not shoddy shells, just handgun ammo. I think I should just use all my gunpowder on actual handgun ammo. And... I see you there. I'm glad you can burn in water. Also, my knife. Right. Well, I have a sub weapon back. So you know I got that going for me. But yeah, um, I'm feeling like I should just give up, turn all my regular gunpowder into handgun bullets, and use all my yellow gunpowder for magnum ammo, and just rely on my shoddy, my shoddy shell supply as I get them. Alright, now if I plug in the rook. Actually, I guess I could have used any plug, because... No. There was a rook there before. We were going to use the pawn. But there was a rook there before. Alright. Now I have my choice of doors here. Let's check this place out first. Because I've got the... Treatment I was about to say, oh my god, I didn't bring it with me. got in here gunpowder high capacity or high power gunpowder high grade gunpowder is that it that was it still worth any notes any notes I'm not seeing any notes okay Gunpowder, and especially high-grade gunpowder, is always worth. 
Uh, we'll use this key. More gunpowder. Let's just go ahead and combine that into bullets. Nice. Wait. Was that? I got a bunch of bullets. Was that a large capacity gunpowder? I'm gonna have to go back and look at that on recording. Nothing in there. More bullets. Excellent. The bullet situation is improving greatly. Jazz Festival Flyer. Ah, look at those circled letters. SVF. Wonder if that's significant. Also, there's drag marks here, and it wants me to do something here. What's this, Abu? Might be our way back to the police station. Anything else in here we're interested in? No. Uh, this hallway is still red. No, I'm getting in, I'm getting in. Hold your horses. This area doesn't look familiar yet. I was going to say it should, but we didn't come up where I thought we were going to come up. This area should. Aha! Welcome back to Raccoon City Police Department. Finally, we have access to the secret room once again. And I bet if we use the T-bar here, we're going to unlock access back to the police station proper. I'm going to pull out my shotgun here. Actually, now that I've got some pistol bullets, let's just use my pistol again. Oh my god, I thought that statue was... was, uh... Yeah, I thought it was a monster. Use the T-bar! Nice. Now we should have access to this area pretty much permanently. But, before we get too far... Remember that cabinet down below had a very unusual shape. Almost badge-like. Let's try the badge. We have held on to this for a while. Let's see if it works in that case. Is it over here? Oh wait, there's... What's this? Oh right, the grenade we left behind. Well, we reloaded a save and never had a chance to go back and get because I forgot about it. Let's try the badge. Ooh. Long barrel for the lightning hawk. A custom part for the Lightning Hawk does bull barrel reduces recoil and imparts extra speed to bullets increasing damage. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, that's so pretty though. Let's combine that with that. Nice. We got ourselves a berry. Okay. So now when we have to use the Magnum, it's going to be even more powerful. But we also have this film roll that has the intriguing label, Hiding Places. Let's go get that. Maybe there's some more goodies we can get. 
Although it does mean we're going to have to go through a couple of hallways that I'm not looking forward to. Fortunately, we're not going to be stalked this time, I don't think. I think now that we've left the uh, station and come back, we will no longer be dealing with the tyrant in here. This. Uh, let's go ahead and we're done with the key. We're not done with the T handle, interestingly enough. Let's put the gunpowder in there. Kind of want more chemical rounds, but I'm not going to get those. Uh, let's, let's push the wrong button as I always do. Let's get rid of the key. Yes, we're done. Uh, other than that, we're pretty good. Check things out. Oh man, this is so familiar. So we need to go to the dark room. What is the easiest way to the dark room? Also, we should probably go get that gunpowder. Why don't we start with that? Let's go get the gunpowder we left behind. Uh, I have to remember, this hallway is infested with liquors. Take it nice and slow. Hello, Zombo friend. How's it going? Oh. Oh, Marvin was the officer of the month. That's so sad. Where's the gunpowder? On the copy machine where it belongs. Ah, and there's still something to search in here? Let's take a look around. I mean, I know that... Ah! What's this? Is that a hand grenade? That's a hand grenade. Nice. Okay, now the records room is completely clear. Let's head back out and around to the second floor. Bye, zombie. Glad those boards are doing their job. Also, I'm glad that officer with the eaten face has never gotten up to attack me. Now let's head for the dark room, which I think is going to be through here and down the hallway. I'm start. I learned my way around here. I know stuff. No creepy noises, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not happy. Nobody cares. I still don't know how much damage one of those takes. Because I've never killed one in this game. Mostly because I don't want to waste the ammo. Alright. Darkroom light is off. Let's develop the hiding places film. Okay. We got a desk. And we have something with a radio. So I think I know where one of these places is. I think that desk is the one that uh, is Wesker's desk that I was trying to search before. Now we should be able to do something about that. So what's the best way back there? If we go up the stairs, 
We can go through the shower room. Okay, let's do that. Making as little noise as possible. Okay, we can make a little more noise now. Zombie janitor, are you gonna scare me again? Apparently these were like communal showers, by the way. I'm just pointing that out. Or maybe there is more male officers than female officers. Alright. Down another infested hallway. Straight in here. Okay, now we should be able to search this desk. Wooden box. Take that. And a roll of film. Rising Rookie. We'll take that as well. What's in the box? Something inside. Ooh. The red dot set for the Lightning Hawk. A custom part for the Lightning Hawk that allows for lightning fast aiming. Nice, so now we have a, a wrong button. So now we have a laser sight. Find that with this. Oh, that's the thing of beauty. Now we pull it out and we aim. Look at that, we don't have to wait at all pretty much. For the aiming site to uh, home in. So with a couple of goodies like that and uh, I think a couple more things we want to look around the police station for, we're going to call it an episode here guys. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it and you guys have a great day. Later!